Welcome to another uh, Salty Strikes uh, fishing adventure. The waves and the wind uh, seem like it's probably not going to be a good day out by the jetties or offshore or anything. So it's probably going to stay inshore today. Uh, hopefully I can get another mackerel or something here before uh, I get to where I'm going. But um, the plan is to head uh, south of the inlet where the tide and the and the, the current and the wind are going the same direction uh, to make things a little easier. Just uh, out here enjoying the day and thanks for joining me and we'll see what we get into. You don't like those puppies, Lily? <laughs> Oh crap. Holy cow. Tiny guy. Little tiny sheep's head. Oh, got a good one here. Oh, Jack. Just a grab bag in here. What kind of fish you're gonna get? Little mangrove. <sighs> Just little guys all over the place today. Have to get a lot bigger than that. What we got? What we got? Big, oh, decent size jack. Nice little jack. I'm gonna keep all these for, freeze them for bait. This is really not optimal fishing weather. The wind is just horrendous and ugh. Got a little chilly, it's freaking May. It's not supposed to be this cold in Florida. Man, tiny fish. Where's all your parents? I think we're just gonna call it a day at that. Um, it's just a little too chilly out here with this wind blowing. I don't, I don't know where this cold front came from. Um, well, yeah, well, up north, of course, but um, you know, it's just unusual for this time of year. But, uh, <clears throat> well, people keep asking about these uh, bluefish cakes I keep talking about. So, um, all right, well, uh, we're just gonna fillet this, uh, these bluefish up and um, we're gonna go to the kitchen and I'll show you how real quick. <clears throat> All right, we got a bluefish here and uh, we're gonna fillet it up real quick. Um, I'll show you. This bluefish is super easy to clean. Just diagonal cut there, work your way down. Cut out, one.
two. Wipe the skin off. bit of a bolt line but we're just gonna cut all that out because then there's a little bit of pin bones and stuff in there but you don't need to keep the try to keep the fillet together because we're just gonna cook it up and mush it up all together anyway line out. Yeah, turn around so you can see. There you got your bluefish. And um, you know, play up a couple of those, take them to the kitchen, and uh, we'll see you there. Alright, uh, welcome to another uh, Salty Strikes uh, Catch and Cook. And um, we have some bluefish here that we caught earlier. And um, so this is, we're gonna make some bluefish cakes. And it's basically kind of the same principle as like, you know, salmon cakes or crab cakes. Um, and this is uh, what you're gonna need. Uh, I got about like two fillets that we previously um, uh, filleted up as you guys saw earlier. And then um, you're gonna need a half a cup of breadcrumbs, a half a cup of mayo, uh, two tablespoons of mustard, uh, two table, teaspoons of uh, garlic powder, two teaspoons of uh, onion powder, two teaspoons of uh, paprika, and uh, two tablespoons of dried oregano. And you're gonna need one egg when we mix it all together. So basically, first things first is you wanna preheat the oven to 350. Um, and we're just gonna, you're just gonna take a, a baking pan and throw the fish on here. And stick it in the oven. And then we're going to um, set the kitchen timer. for seven minutes. And basically, you only, you don't wanna completely, you know, you just wanna get almost cooked, uh, the fish, just enough so it, it'll flake apart when we go to mix it up in the bowl with the other ingredients. Um, Cause we're at the end, we're gonna put the in a pan and finish, when we, after we make the patties, and finish cooking in there. All right, so let's fast forward to when this is done. All right, fish is done, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven. We're just going to turn the burner on to like a medium high heat and um, let that start to warm up and we're just going to put, you know, just enough to coat the bottom and a little extra roach of olive oil. Alright, uh, now we're just going to pull this fish off of here and let it put it on the plate let it cool down a second before we mush it all together because you don't want any of the ingredients to start cooking or the fish to continue to cook when you mix it all together. All right, the fish is kind of cooled off now, so we're just gonna dump it in the bowl and then just chop it up. Think about that consistency. And then you just wanna add these ingredients one at a time. Breadcrumbs, mayo, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Mustard. And uh, garlic powder. 
onion powder, paprika, and uh, dried uh, oregano. And then you just want to crack one egg into it. Oops. And then just mix it all up. And now you're just gonna grab these with your hand and you want about, you know, tennis ball size. And then just smash it up to a, a patty and just Maybe smaller than a tennis ball. Alright, now we're going to just transfer these onto the the pan. And you're just going to cook them for about three minutes on each side. All right, three minutes is up, so we're gonna just flip these over and do another three minutes. All right, now the, the three minutes are up, so we just transfer these onto it. the plate, and we're just all right, so we're just gonna have the little uh, penne mac and cheese with it. We put on the uh, the cre uh, bluefish cakes. We just make a um, a little kind of like spicy aioli with a little bit of mayo and uh, Thai uh, style sweet chili sauce. And um, you just use a, a two to one ratio, like two teaspoons to one teaspoon, and uh, mix it all together, and it works great. So just one. Two, and then one, and just mix that together. There you go. That easy. All right, the penne is done. So just take a little bit of this sauce, put it on your crab cake, or excuse me, bluefish cake. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that, but. Um, and uh, see how it turns out. Man, it's superb. You'll quit throwing back uh, bluefish after you try this. Give this a shot first and uh, let me know if you like it. Um, I love them now. That's, you know, we kept a lot of bluefish this year, which more than we usually do once uh, Kim found this recipe. And, uh, started making these and um, they're a fantastic meal. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, you try it out. Let me know in the comments below. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the water.